Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Welcome to Facebook Live Tuesday afternoon, 2 for Tuesday. It is my privilege and pleasure to be here with you. Topic for today's Facebook Live is finding flow. I'm going to let the Facebook Live populate, and then I will move into the inspirational portion of today's Facebook Live. Dr. Duke, good to see you, my brother. John McFadden, good to see you in an afternoon in Chicago. And John, my brother, good to see you. Dr. Duke, Amy Gilberg. Amy, remember back in the day, back in the day when I used to speak in Long Island and you and your husband would come to my events. I miss those days. Good to see you this afternoon. Please say hello to your husband. Good afternoon, everyone. Two for Tuesday. The history, the lore, the the whole story of, of Tuesday afternoon Facebook Live. Started off as a Tuesday late afternoon, and it was a live conference call. It originally started as a women's workshop. I had a group of women that asked me if I would do a Tuesday afternoon call for them. And I did it at 2 o'clock, that was 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, for a group of women in a company, and the company's no longer even in business, but that's what it started off as. And that was in 1999, so that was the origins. And then later in 1999, he moved it to 7.30 in the evening. I rebranded it as the More Heart Than Talent Mindset Call. I started building that brand. That brand was my brand for many, many years. Amy Gilbert has attended many of my More Heart Than Talent events. Dr. Duke, I believe you saw me speak at least twice, More Heart Than Talent in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and possibly once in Boston. Welcome, everyone. The topic for today's Facebook Live is an exceptional topic, and it's called Finding Flow. Aaron Knight, good to see you, my brother. Always good to see you. Honored to have been your coach. This is a great book for those of you who not have this book. It's a very little book. It is an amazing Tracy Calvert, who is crushing her brand. If you're not following Tracy Calvert, follow her. She is crushing it. Good to see you, Tracy. Tracy, here's the book, Little Money Bible. Great book. Honored to be your coach, Tracy. Tracy has referred me some exceptional clients. Good to see all of you. Elizabeth Alford in England. Good to see you this afternoon. And if you are from England today, Stuart Wilde was English. He is deceased. I love his content, The Ten Laws of Abundance, Stuart Wilde, right here. I've read every one of his books, own every one of his books. This is a little book. I had this in 1999. It's called Finding Flow. And, or the, the, the name of the book is called The Little Money Bible. And the topic today is Finding Flow. And right here is The Law of Flow, right here. So The Law of Flow is what I absolutely suggest you begin to master. Flow means there are people flowing into your life. If you're dating, you're dating exceptional people that flow to you. If you're attracting team team leaders, people flow to you. If you're a musician, the opportunity to play is flowing to you. Aaron, Aaron I, I coached a man today who played, his father played trumpet with Chet Baker. He was amazed that I didn't even know who Chet Baker was. But I told him that I grew up in Kansas City and I saw the greatest jazz musicians of all time. Count Basie, I saw Sonny Rollins, I saw the Jazz Crusaders, I saw Ronnie Laws, I saw Olita Adams, I absolute David Sanborn, I mean Chuck Mangione, I saw, I mean that was flow. That is jazz music, old pure jazz music is just flow music. I mean it is unequivocally some of the, the best release music. I saw Chick Corea and and Weather. I saw Weather Report, Return to Forever. I saw these great, great, great jazz musicians. I never got to see Miles Davis. I just barely missed him once. But I saw a lot of the greatest jazz musicians of all time. And that their music, like a trumpet player who's just playing trumpet improv- improvisationally, that is just flowing. Or a sax player, I saw Grover Washington. I mean, I saw the great of the greats. And those are people who are on command. So Aaron says, I was talking of Chet last night. That is no accident. Aaron, if you want to look up John Collins, he is my client. He is on these calls frequently. His father played with Chet Baker. John Collins, he's my coaching client, and he's coming to Millionaire Blueprint. For those of you who have the opportunity, 
You have been my coaching client. I have one more speaking engagement this year in Stockton, California, Millionaire Blueprint, December 15th and 16th. Mark it on your calendar. It is absolutely a game-changing event. And in that event, I do break down specifically what is called the payoff. And the payoff is what keeps you from being and staying in flow. Now, I first learned of the law of flow in the 90s myself. I learned it I learned it before I ever read Stuart Weil's books. My first, ma- my first mentor on Flow Master was a man named Frederick Lehrman, L-E-H-R-M-A-N. And I started listening to his content in 1996, an audio cassette program called Prosperity Consciousness. And it was there that I learned that the Latin term for prosperity is in the flow. So prospero in Latin, prospero is flow, and that flow state is when it, there's an effortless ease. Now, Scott Bertha is one of my clients. He's on today's Facebook Live. I've I've told this story of Scott. I'll never forget this. Scott, dr- Scott, Scott didn't drive across the state. Scott took a bus across the state five years ago to see me speak from West Florida to East Florida to see me speak. So, oh my God, John Collins is here. That's awesome. So Scott took a bus, not a car, not carpooling. He took a bus across the state of Florida to see me speak on a Saturday. I know it was a game-changing day for him. Scott hired me. Scott is absolutely flowing in Naples. Any of, the, any of these of you who are looking to buy property in Naples, Florida, or that west area of Florida below, below uh, Fort Myers, I highly recommend Scott. He's absolutely in the flow. He's having a multiple six-figure year, which is amazing. He is, his transformation is amazing, as is many of your transformation. Many of you are in that flow state, that process of letting go, the separation between the feelings and the events that shape them. Now, for if you're just joining me, Lisa, thank you for just joining me. Lisa just bought a book of mine. John Collins, look up Aaron Knight. Aaron, look up John. John, Aaron just told me right here that he was thinking of, of Chet Baker last night. So there is no accident. And Lisa, thank you for the purchase of my book recently. Scott says, Jeffrey and everyone, I am honored to be your client friend. Thank you, my brother. He is he's a top-tier real estate professional in Naples, Florida, and he will be my agent when I buy my first property there, and I will be accessing that opportunity very soon. That will be the law of flow. When you, So the I've determined I'm going to buy property in Florida, and it's going to be in Naples. I've considered... Ponte Vedra, Jacksonville area, but my my heart tells me Naples is my calling. And in Naples, I already have my agent. I have the flow with this man. I have the connection. I mean, that's the law of flow, and he will find me the ideal property for my wife and I. That is the flow. That is the trust. That is the belief. That is the outcome. So that is certainty. When you're in the law of certainty, that's abundance, you will attract your reality, quality, like-minded success seekers. Michael Stroop, reach out to Scott Bertha. Scott, reach out to Michael. The two of you deserve to connect. You've been long-term clients of mine. And Amy said, not too far from my home. Derek Beza is an exceptional young man who I have the privilege of coaching and is a multiple business owner in his late 20s. Derek, thank you for being a long-term client. Charlie Red, good to see you. Good to see all of you here this evening. Feel free to reach out to each other, collaborate with each other, form connections through my circle of influence. If you, that, that's, that's all flow. That's the six degrees of separation, and there's no separation when you're in that content. John, Aaron, Aaron says, Aaron Knight, my cell is. Aaron, go ahead and take that down. Have the conversation and see I've created a flow state between two top tier clients. And when you when you're when there's no scarcity, you can pass business on to each other. In the law of flow, there is no scarcity. In the law of flow, so in this in the possibility of the next lockdown or any of that, that does not mean your business is going to stop flowing. Some of you have a business model where your business will continue to flow and it'll be continue to increase. Because that also is the law of supply and demand. That's why you want to be in a position, whatever you're selling, there is a demand and a command for it. And that means that there are people who will buy in spite, despite of the circumstances, because what you are offering has a value proposition. And the more valuable that you feel, so that if you value yourself, 
then you will be able to command what the free market will bear. If you devalue yourself and you continue to tell yourself you're not good enough and you don't have the experience and that you you haven't been through the process long enough, or if you overstate your value, you have an inflated value because you have an inflated ego, meaning that your lower self comes from anxiety, fear, and doubt, well, you'll also have challenges in the free marketplace because you will have challenges finishing the transaction, closing the sales. So the it's important that you understand where you are in the world today, that you're able to access your piece of free enterprise. And so in flow, what you have is an enterprise. And I used to teach my teammates in the 90s, We would, when I was building direct sales businesses, I would do trainings for my team, either on conference calls or live, and I would cover that we would say my enterprise. So that means many people would turn, they would say that their that their business they would call it a job or work. And I would I would continue to point out them well you don't have a job because you're not trading time for money and you're not working you're being productive and you're creating on command. Free enterprise requires creativity and innovation skills. Whereas jobs sometimes requ sometimes require that, but in, if you own a business, it's going to be up to you to be and stay inspired and in a relaxed body. And the relaxed body means you're in the flow. But if you're in fight or flight, there's no re you're, you're, you're intensity. And in that fight or flight, you're going to be intense. You're going to feel behind. and There's going to be a lot of force in it. When you're in flow, you're in power. And that power is an effortless ease. It's an energy that magnetizes, force polarizes. Force, requ force requires an opposition. It requires a counterforce. Force is the duality of black, white, good, good, bad, right, wrong. And in that situation, enemies are created. Someone loses and someone wins. Well, that's not your, ob your objective. As a master of flow, you're not looking to win or lose. Your objective is to be creative, be innovative, be be in the flow, be a magnet, be able to magnetize your reality, people and situations that you can create collaboration, you can create goodwill, ambassadorship will. You can be a mentor, a leader, a leader grower, and that's the flow of it. But if your self-talk talks about scarcity, there aren't any leads out there, it's very difficult. You have no idea how difficult it is. You have no idea what I go through. You have no idea what it's like to have three children. You have no idea what it's like to barely get by. And I will tell people I, I am someone who does have an idea. I've lived in little rooms with a bathroom. That I, I, this, I've rented rooms before. I've rented studio apartments. I've had my kitchen in my living room. I mean, I have been through up the down staircase of free enterprise business of being an entrepreneur for 35 years. However, the last 28 plus years, I've been in the flow. And that flow state is, is prosperity on command, meaning that, you're, that you learn to master your emotions so that in this right here, this book, The Little Money Bible, as I said, it covers it right here, The Law of Flow. And so in The Law of Flow, it means that you're able to easily and effortlessly attract business, business partners, people you can collaborate with, you're providing great service and great value, and you are able to do it much more organically. You're not paying for ads, you're not sponsoring ads, you're not doing Facebook ads, you're able to write the content and people find you. People refer you business because of task well done. Referrals are the one of the greatest credibility factors that you will create and attract because a referral is someone who actually felt the love. They felt the, the, com the camaraderie from you. They felt the service and the value and they refer you business that is organic business. Organic business is often the best business you attract because it's referral based. Someone is referring you because of who you've become, the service you offer, the value that you bring. And in that situation, it means that you are separating yourself from what used to look like competition. When you're in flow, there is no competition because you're not competing with anyone. There is no competition. The only competition would be the competition between you and your ego. And you would be able to silence that inner critic. You'd be able to let go of the cause that creates the effect of not feeling good enough. You wouldn't require the payoff anymore of struggle and strife. And you'd be in a much more relaxed state where you'd be able to build a business and you wouldn't feel like you're behind or you wouldn't be telling yourself stories that you should be further along. And you would be in a much more relaxed state 
and that's called effortless ease. That's what flow is. Flow is the ease. I was coaching a client earlier today on letting go of being sensitive, defensive, letting go of being frustrated and disappointed and angry and angry at the world and where do I turn and these the stories that he was telling himself is the payoff. And that, that payoff recreates the same situation to fulfill the same set of feelings. Why is it that certain people in challenging times are still able to attract business? They're able to attract prosperity. They're able to attract a life partner. They're able to attract a group of people that will follow in the most challenging times of the world. Well, it's because there's an energy that is emoting and transmuting from that from that spirit, from that spirituality, from that energy of love, joy, bliss, where people feel it. It's called charisma, and certain people have it. Most of the people don't. Most of the world doesn't because they live in lack, scarcity, poverty, driven by anxiety, fear, and doubt based on events that are unresolved. So this personality becomes a hard aholic, hard aholic, that what they do in life is challenging and difficult. Now, if you're graduating out of that, if you're letting go of it, then you're moving into a place right here called the hands-free zone, right there, the hands-free zone. Now, the zone is a very interesting place. For those of you who experience the zone musically, athletically, scholastically, business, whatever it is, that flow state, that zone, it becomes effortless ease. It's fifth gear. It's It would be the equivalent of having a 60-point basketball game, or it would be you're picking a stock and you have a windfall, or you go to the, you go and gamble and the hands you're getting and playing poker or, whatever, or blackjack, whatever it is, are just like you've never had these hands before. It's the flow. Now, when you when you start doubting this, that shuts off the flow. I was speaking to a young client today who she's attracted the ideal soulmate. However, she's so afraid that she's going to sabotage it. And she's so afraid she's going to make a mistake. And she's so afraid that now she's holding back saying what she wants to say because she's afraid that she's going to sabotage it. That's F-I-U. That's what it means. She's afraid she's going to F or yes, F-I-U. Yes, she's afraid that she's going to be in that. That's going to happen to her. And so she's overwhelming herself. She will end up creating the very situation she sought to avoid to fulfill her feelings. I was a sister to be able to understand that that we attract to our reality people and situations to fulfill our feelings. And so when your feelings, when you're transmuting from not being good enough, you're transmuting from lack, lack of love. When you're transmuting from not being good enough, you're sending out signals that say, please reject me. When you're transmuting your feelings of lack and scarcity, you're abandoning yourself and you're expecting other people to abandon you. And so when you are, are transmuting these feelings of anxiety, fear, and doubt, you're creating the payoff to fulfill the disappointment and the frustration. And rather than transmuting from flow, you're living in lack, poverty consciousness, scarcity, debt consciousness, worry consciousness, and you're, you're creating the same situation. Now, the, the breakthrough factor of that is being able to understand your character defects without being sensitive and defensive, being able to understand, I create my reality and it's my opportunity to change that reality. And that and change is not difficult. Change is an experience that the more you let go of the lower self, the ego, you'll experience higher levels of consciousness. Consciousness is understand, know, aware. And in that state of consciousness, you will virtually begin to change what you attract. Now, this doesn't happen overnight, although it could. It depends on where you are one day at a time. You virtually have the ability on command to synchronistically attract your reality. Miracles. You can attract multiple situations that you, you can experience that flow, but it requires the belief. So the lack of belief, it means your lack of certainty, is what creates doubt. You cannot possibly attract prosperity unless you're lucky in doubt. You cannot, you cannot attract... You can't attract the, the prosperity you're seeking and anxiety and fear unless it's random laws of luck, and that doesn't happen very often. But in the law of averages, you enhance the law of averages greatly by, by letting go of anxiety, fear, and doubt. But, and letting go is the separation 
between the feelings and the events that shaped them. I'm a master at teaching letting go. Those of you who have coached with me, I've been coaching you for years on this, on teaching yourself the skill of letting go. It's an emotional separation between a feeling and a fact. Letting go is an emotional separation between a feeling and an event. Letting go is the emotional separation between the feelings and being an adult child of an alcoholic, the adult child of a narcissist, the adult child of an overwhelmed family. It's letting go of these feelings of scarcity, poverty, not being good enough, and the other situations that we hold on to, to fulfill our feelings. And that separation, you can find it in 12-step programs, you can find it in books and downloads and podcasts, but most importantly, you can find it in yourself on any given day. It doesn't matter whether it's Monday or Friday or Saturday or Sunday. What matters in the law of the matter is that you find your flow. And that flow is not found in procrastinating and avoiding. That flow is found in the action steps. It's in the repetition of the experience. It's letting go of the outcome that hasn't happened. It's having exceptional conversations over and over and letting people go that don't qualify for your time, your products, your services, your benefits and features. It's in the dating world not getting hung up on one person and setting yourself up to have no dates. In flowing in the dating world, it's believing that dating is fun and that it's not difficult and hard and there's no one out there. And when you speak lack and poverty and, and that type of consciousness into reality, then the universe rewards you for the words that you say because word is law. When your words become your law and you understand the value of your words, you will not speak lack, poverty. You'll speak clearly. When you start to eliminate the kindas, the guesses, the sortas, I'd like tos, I'd need tos, the words of hesitation and non-commitment and you become commitment conscious, you will begin to find your flow. My name is Jeffrey Combs. I'm the president and founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Kevin, thank you very much for that exceptional compliment. Valerie, good to see you this afternoon. And two Valerie's, Valerie Massey and Val and C. Scott Bertha, thank you for being here. It's so awesome to be able to spend some quality time with all of you this afternoon. I'll be back here tonight on Tuesday, two for Tuesday. I host a Tuesday night Facebook Live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Pacific. That becomes 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the following early morning. So thank you very much, everyone. Have a great afternoon. Look forward to connecting with you. Goodbye.